We are looking at perfecting the plank today and we've got Nini and a perfect uh, patient today because he's got a disc injury, so he's got a disc bulge but he's recovering from it and so he's at the stage where he can do planks but he's got to do them correctly so he doesn't stress his back out. So we're trying to build a core for him, trying to get his glutes going and our plank is a very important component for that. Um, it gives you that brute lifting strength and abdominal strength in the front and it's safe to do when you've got a disc injury at this stage. He's basically pain free, um, he's got great extension, he's got good flexion so we can do a static load plank for him today and no problems. He was doing it on his knees so if you go to the one on your knees so he was doing a plank on his knees down his elbows for Minini. So for him what he wants to do he starts on his elbows and he comes up and he's just got to lift his bum up into there. Now obviously you want to perfect your knees plank before you go onto your feet because there's a lot less load it's easier to hold you can get more endurance um, and once you've got the core right, the actual shape of your back and you've got your abdominals on, then we can start adding load by going onto your feet and that sort of thing and doing other stuff. Um, trick with him, he's pretty good, so you want a very slight shallow curve here. What you don't want to be is up too much on a posterior tilt, just tuck your bum up. You don't want to be like that. See how it's like completely flat here? So I don't want that because that means he's not in neutral. Neutral is a little bit of a curve, like just a tiny bit. And making sure when he's doing that, he's got a little curve here, he's got to be not broken here. So he can't be collapsed, just let that drop for me. He can't be dropped down like that. So he's got to be pushing away from the floor with his hands. There you go, that's it. And to stop him cheating, I want him really hands out there. Just a little bit harder, okay. Now from here, the trick is, can you squeeze your butt? It's, oh, it's already on, mate, that's pretty yeah. good. So he's working hard here, all right. Now, if you're struggling with your abdominal contraction in the front, use your pelvic floor like holding a wee a little bit. It'll just help that whole TA system underneath which will get a little bit more activation through your obliques which is what we want and your rectus abdominis which is what we want when we're doing a plank. Okay, So if he can squeeze his glutes, he's got to make sure they're on all the time. Now think about holding a credit card between your butt cheeks. Right, So he's got to, remember glutes go this way, so he's got to bring those two together because he needs his glutes on to maintain his pelvic stability. Okay, have a rest for a second. So that is a plank on your knees, and then all you need to do from a plank from your knees is go to your feet. So we'll give him a little break for a minute. Um, but when you go onto your feet, you've got to make sure that your glutes stay on, okay? Otherwise, if your glutes aren't on, you're putting a lot of man through your lower back when you do a plank, and we want to make sure that we're not doing that. So go onto your knees again, up we go. So we find our neutral spine, that's pretty good. He needs to switch this on here. And remember, in a plank, it switches on anyway. you just got to make sure that it's doing it correctly. And then all he's going to do is dig his toes in and straighten his knees. So he's really got to switch his quads on here. And he's got to clench his butt cheeks together hard. And keep this up here. Push this higher. Make sure his head's in a line. You imagine like if you had a dowel rod, you want to go all the way through here perfectly. Now you can see by his shirt, he's shaking a little bit. That's good, okay? That means he's working hard. But what you should be aiming for is making sure everything's on. So quads, glutes, abdominals, pushing away from the floor. Go a bit higher for a minute. There you go. And now he's going to do a little bit of lats as well. So then pulling your shoulders down a bit. Bring him down. So he wants a little bit of lat on, all right? And that way he's working his whole system, not just his abs, all right? You want a plank to work in the whole system in one unit and it's static. And of course, as he gets better and progresses, he'll be doing rotations. He'll be going from a plank to a side plank, which is down further in the program, which is a lot harder, and trying to maintain that whole stability of his spine while he rotates. He's doing pretty well for a disc injury, I must say. All right, have a rest. So that's the plank. And um, next session we're going to work on rotation.